Yes, sir. Your boy French Fry Warrior is back, and today we're actually gonna go over something a little bit more different. Still, records of Ragnarok, but this time it's that it's about that side um, spinoff about the gods, the other gods fighting in tournaments against each other, fighting battles against each other. So I thought it'd be pretty interesting. I've been seeing it gain a lot of popularity, and. You know, not to say I wasn't that I wasn't interested in, you know, the Lu Boo story or the Jack the Ripper story. I just want to see what the gods like can do. I want to see more of them, you know, so I figured it'd be good to record my reaction to this. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure if I'm going to be making like monthly chapters about this spinoff because that would be a lot of work for me. And, you know, I'm a busy man with a job and everything. So I don't know if I could be doing all that, but I think at the end, like what I'll do after each battle, I'll just compile the whole thing into one rather than be like chapter to chapter. So it'll just be like a battle from beginning to end and give my reaction at the end, if anything. And I think that would be easier for me to work with. But with that out of the way, let's start into this. So all I know is this is like a tournament of God versus other gods. You know, it's a prequel to Ragnarok, basically, if I'm correct. Let's see. So they go back to chapter one or oh, they announce it. There goes the, the GMOX again, making a ruckus about damn near everything. What makes a lot of you guys think you're so high and mighty anyhow? A few hours after the conference of Mankind Smile, there's one reason I gather you all your hate and to announce the names of those fighting for gods in Ragnarok. Oh, okay. So this, how they pick the gods to fight? I think. Why are we going for this? Come on, tell us already. By the heavens, I thought this was something important. And that Zeus calling us out on the best, on the basis of matters. The god of sun. So this is Ra. Eh, Ra not looking too bad. Bring on another grand old spectacle, I see. Oh, uh, this is the female fighter that people have been losing themselves over. Like, I, I, I'll talk about it. Like, I'll make a video on it. But if y'all want to go see some female fighters of basically Ragnarok, it's I think it's called Mahalo, Maho no Tenson, something like that. Like, it's literally a bunch of witches fighting each other. Like, Google that, like, and you'll probably find something with a bunch of females fighting each other because people are losing their mind over this female character. I'm like, it's nice, but nothing to lose your mind over. But you know, Reddit's full of a bunch of thirsty people. Grand no spell. No need to spell it. I think everyone is going to be fighting. You sure you want to watch me, bro? They're about to not I don't care. Well, of course, I'll get picked. Presenting, but certainly worth seeing. Who else would be chosen the lineup for Ragnarok? So I forgot. I don't think this is made by the actual creators, but a side person. So that's why I don't think this is canon. I could be wrong, but I don't know if this is a hundred percent. No, I don't think it is canon actually. I have to look that up, but it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Budo, Loki, la la la. Yeah, it's all the people we know except for Zeus himself. Oh, they mad. They're like, yo, why my name ain't, ain't on there? I believe this mistake. Because I don't see my name on that list. Ahura. He look like he could be whack. He look like he ain't, he ain't shit. Zeus. Of course, most of them be tight. Surely you don't mean we're inferior to these gods. I mean, I'll have to see what y'all can do in this, in this tournament. I feel like the gods we've seen are... They ain't no joke. I ain't gonna lie about that. They ain't no joke. Yes, ladies and gents, I can feel your bloodlust, but you're picking on the wrong god here. Cop shit, you old boar. Depending on the next one coming out of your mouth, all of us might be damn near ready to cut loose. Zeus is not even scared. He's like, yo, I will knock all y'all out. And clearly, we know that Zeus is the participant. So, like, whoever fought him lost clearly or maybe not well no most likely lost let's let's call a spade a spade 
but that means they are pretty strong you know they that means they might be stronger than some of the current gods who knows anyways this dude's sticking out a little his, not little big pole are oh, you looking for a fight you little yeesh i can't wiggle with all you yapping and that goes for the rest of you wukong this dude looks like I'm not gonna lie, he looks like a record of Ragnarok Gojo a little bit. Like the the hairstyle a little bit and definitely the, the glasses. Cool your head and take a closer look at the list. Ragnarok's supposed to be a 13 v 13. What do you know? There's only 12 people up there. I never thought I'd see the former problem child get the crowd to calm down. You mellowed out. Damn, talking that shit. As if you old sack of shit, you don't know anything about me. What's the hell your big scheme? He's like, I would never scheme. This is a feast. What I need, I have. What need I have for scheming? There's no need to get so worked up. I have another feast made especially for you all. Let me ask you, do you really want to enter Ragnar like that badly? Yo, you the uh, Zeus is stirring up some trouble, man. Ragnar Fredly is a former entertainment. I can tell this human race. If I'm Frank, who enters, who enters, or who my children hardly matters, our victory will be overwhelming. Yeah, you know, fast forward ten rounds later, you know, a lot happened. That helpless human race, yeah. I'm gonna say that when Poseidon got cut up, a cakewalk like that could hardly take that away. The edge, the agitation of all these millennia of waiting. Yo, Zeus is like a. This, uh, you forget how much of a bloodthirsty fighter this guy is. He always wants to scrap. Always. Can't be Zeus. You mean you're going to break the tablet that's been in place since you created mankind seven years ago? Indeed. As Supreme Chairman of the Council of Valhalla, I declare so. Once again, we have a battle among the gods. Oh, so he. For they forbade it. They made it like a for forbidden thing for gods to battle each other, but now it's like all good. You know who this guy looks like? He looks like Yupi from Hunter x Hunter. Go look at who Yupi is and you'll see what I mean. You who have a f name for yourselves. How are you dying to find out? God versus God. Oh yeah, another reason I want to check this out is Indra's in here. I always thought this dude was cool. I wanted to see his powers. And when I heard he was participating, I was like, "Ooh, yeah, I gotta check this out. I gotta check this out." If you really slugged it out, who would be the baddest of it all? Hey, what's going on there? You looked in taboo. Damn it! Then at least pick me. And with you, and you with no name for yourselves, aren't you dying just to find out? Okay, okay. He's got them all stirred up. In all the heavens, who is the strongest now? We all to settle that question through plain old violence. Oh my gosh. Zeus is classic. Whoever triumphs in this feast, I shall give the final spot at Ragnarok. I hereby announce the holding of the apocalypse. And thus a war among the gods of gods, by the gods, and for the gods <laughs> was declared. Okay, I like how they started out. Goodness me, what a wonderful proposition, Lord Zeus. And just like you said, that you really should have a good idea. So, you're yeah, pretty content with this. I'm content with it too. At least with the 12 that are entering Ragnarok. I couldn't think anyone more fitting than them for destroying humanity. Okay, so he's like. Yeah, this is. These guys are definitely formidable, I will say that. But, you know, you go to the future, you saw Poseidon got cut up once again. Yes, most of, the, most of the guys that were chosen for Ragnarok, no, those that could not be children, chosen. A danger even to us God, the unstoppable, the untouchable, the unknown, those we call the outer gods. Oh, okay. Our danger even to us gods. Okay, so these these guys are also no joke. And they couldn't be chosen because they're unknown. You don't know what their goals are. 
Whereas I guess with everyone, you know how they feel about humanity. It's like, yeah, I want to eradicate them and, you know, do nothing. Okay, this is interesting. I like this. I do the breaking of the taboos mean I'm sure we'll see many of them class. This apocalypse is truly an unpredictable tournament. And you shall see this. And that's why I have much stake in. Well, well. Speak of the devil. What can I help you with? Ra. You've done more than just cross the lines. Is all right. So we're going into Ra, the supreme god of the ancient Egypt, god of the sun, period and obelisk, which symbolize the day, are uh, the first and foremost monument. Uh, he's ranked high among the gods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He having once defied the council and attempted to destroy mankind on his own. He also ranks as one of the unstoppables. Okay, so he definitely got some power behind him. Don't get so worked up. I'm just concerned about the line of Ragnarok as you are. Certainly the heavens are practically filled to the brim of strong gods like yourself. Having us fight to the death to decide who will participate will be putting the cart before the horse. Indeed, it's what a certain someone is hoping for. You know what? This also makes me realize that I don't want to say these these don't these battles don't matter. I guess because they didn't say if it was to fight to the death. They're just saying like it's a battle. So I don't know if these gods are going to be killing each other. And even so, I don't know if Nif Nefelheim, Nifelheim is on the line here. But I'm going to assume it is. I'm going to assume. But maybe they'll announce the rules. But this is a feast after all. Fighting for one seat won't kill us. Otherwise, we'd be boring. And that's why I look taboo. For the gods. For us gods have a good scrap doesn't just happen every day you want to enjoy it while it's here interesting boring enjoy since when were the heavens a playground for you and your lackeys yo okay i respect ra ra is on that like yo he's he's like yo this is no game bro and look at all them they're like whoa that's some that's some power it seems there's a bit of a misunderstanding between us here. Why don't we just calm down and talk this? Yeah, Aries, at least you could do anything, bro. Sir, Ra. But yeah, Ra got that power. Who told you you could come near me? What's going on here? Why is it so hot and arid? As if I've been cast into the desert. This is Ra, God of Sun. Okay, I like Ra. Eddie ordered a guy could not as much touch him. Other stupidity. What's the point of holding this tournament? My total victory is the only way this will end. Hmm. I see you don't get it. To play, to enjoy yourself, and and that any and all times is the privilege and the essence of us gods. You're so easily bothered by so many things. Is it fun being a god with all that bogging you down? Yo, Zeus is off the rails with this one. He's like, yo, I'm going to do whatever I want just to please and enjoy myself. That is the essence of a god. Oh, Lord Zeus, I implore you not to stir him so much. Then allow me to give you something to think about. Yo, they're ready to go. Yo, look at yo, look at the bloodlust on his face. He's like, yo, I've been waiting for this. He pumped up and everything. And you got this dude interrupted with a dog. Sorry, geese. Must have been born here, huh? What's that? It felt like before. Yeah, I get you. I feel the same. Be gone, boy. I don't know who you are, but do you and your filthy animal want to be burnt to ashes? What? My bad. I couldn't really hear you there. And are you kind of bugging me, big man? Mind leaving? I, f I have some business with old git right here. You see? Yo. Alright, who is this kid now? Yeah. Cool. Oh, question. Boy, judging by your appearance, might you be looking to join the tournament? Yeah, sure. Is this something you wish to ask me? Nothing major. If I win this whole shebang, you wouldn't mind giving your seat over to me, would you? Ooh, he's like, yo. I'll take that king of I'll take that that crown of yours. I'll be a chief god. But we can't dismiss this as a name prattling of a child. Can we, Zeus? Even Ra was laughing. He's like, ah, 
we'll see about that. Rah, whatever do you mean? Why you said yourself, Ragnarok is nothing more than entertainment with humans at a receiving end. A surefire win for us gods, so to speak. If this apocalypse, on the other hand, is an act of earnest war between the gods and the tournament, furthermore, then it's only fitting that the winner perceives something for his efforts, no? He's like, yo, put some stakes on it. You can attest, first and foremost, to the truth of that, can't you? You certainly struck a nerve there. I see now why you wouldn't just be satisfied with taking part in Ragnarok. Very well. You and you. Let's see which of you makes it past the first round. Are they going to fight each other? And let me leave you one last thing. Now that you've boasted as much as you have, your responsibility is all the greater. He's like, yo, you better win. You better not be talking shit. First, you'll have to prove to me whether you can back up all that boasting with a real show of strength. Once you show that, you'll get your due reward. Ooh, well said, Zeus. Well said. All right. Well said. Bahala Cathedral Underground. This is the way it is upon us. And before we get that in the way, at one point in from it. Oh yeah, I heard about this girl announcer too. Uh, Jaro. Hemdal's number one disciple. Hemdal had a disciple? I mean, I ain't gonna lie. She kind of bad, but I, w I want my boy Hemdal. I ain't gonna lie to you. The win of the apocalypse when I only secure this by Ragnar, but as an extra prize. And yes, you're hearing me right. They will be given the privilege of adding any one provision they wish to the constitution of Valhalla. Of adding any one provision they wish to the constitution of Valhalla. Oh, so they can make a law. Any provision they wish to come that's going too far. Is that even allowed? The constitution of Valhalla, the only universe and absolute law of the gods. So that all gods of every nation and era may exist in harmony. Yeah, it's basically like you could basically put down any rule you want. That's Okay, that's a good stake. That's a good stake here. Any wish. This is awarded by the Council of Valhalla itself. It's got their time stamp. It's got their stamp of approval and fair and legal privilege. But for just an extra prize, just you might as well make it the main prize. For real, like, two two getting in Ragnar. I could get in this constitution and... I mean, you just have to survive Ragnar. That's all I gotta say. So what they get, they make it their own rule for all of heaven to follow. I wish they let me do that. Shiva did win, so he had a chance. You're forgetting about the other outer gods. If one of them wins, was screwed. Agreed. I see it's bait to bring in the strongest and most dangerous outer gods they can. I was thinking that too. Like Zeus might be doing this just to so they weed each other out for the rest of them. That way they don't have to go through all the madness of getting rid of them themselves. But then Zeus likes to fight, so I don't know about that. And after a thorough pre screen process, I present to you the gnarliest, wildest, and most chaotic gods to ever grace the heavens. The lineup for the apocalypse. Alright. Uh, none of these guys I really. Wait, Death? King Enma? Oh, this is interesting. This is very interesting. That one I want to see. Death and King Enma. I want to see that. Where's, uh, where's Sun Wukong? Unless that's Sun Wukong, King Enma. Hydra, too. Uh, Indra. Oh, yeah, I want to see my boy Indra. And there's Ra. So, yeah, honestly, all I'm interested in is seeing what Ra does. Indra, Hydra, Death, and King Enma. Leviathan. Okay, that one too. What in the more than half of those are the outer gods? This has this isn't anything as light as a feast now. Truly, as the name say, an apocalypse. The crowd is awfully excited for this. Of course they were. Depending on the heavens could be shaken. Long ago I prevailed in a tight Titan mockery. Titanomaki. I'm bad at pronouncing stuff. Leave me alone. And from then on became known as the godfather of cosmos, as well as the god of gods. If I can get a taste of that vigor that coursed through my veins, then no. A vigor that can surpass that. Then the heavens can go to hell for all I can. <laughs> Uh, he got tasted against Adam for sure. He got him way more than he bargained for. 
And now for our first match, enter the fighters. So who's first? Oh, we don't Ra. Yeah, he said get past the first round. Glory to Lord Ra. If there's anyone more incensed at the idea of this tournament, everyone knows it would have to be him. To hell with the Zeus. Who cares about Odin? About his blazing bodies wrapped in, div in a divine and mystic veil. The gods of gods is the god of the sun. I am the true peak of divinity. He's like, yo, Zeus, you better be watching. I ain't no fool to be messing with. And we got Ra, the god of sun. As I demonstrate to the whole heavens what makes for a true king. And we got this guy. I'll be back, Gase. Don't worry. That going with you, nothing on me. He was standing pretty close to him when Ares was like fainting. And now up against him is a demigod. Okay, he's a demigod. Demigod, and we should say that he's half human. Well, this dude's gonna win. I'm yeah, I'm about to call it. Hey, what's that thing? A log? A club? Wait, who even is he? Looks like just some seedy kid. Are you one of us or one of them? Born an unwanted child, carrying the sword of the undesirable. He is a lone hybrid warrior. Q Chalan. Ch Chulain? I don't know. I'm bad with names. Leave me alone. Demigod warrior from Ireland. I'm interested to see what this guy can do. Does he choose the, does he choose the noble life of a knight or the savage or the berserker? He's a half god and half human hero from the mythos of the self. He was thought to be a handsome young man, but still other stories of him morphing into a demonic beast in battle. He is one of the outer gods, and from his past history, he's been given the name of the unruly. So we have the unruly versus the unstoppable. Well, he is unruly, I'll say that. Well, just go and tell the whole story for me, why don't you? Sorry, but I don't care whether I'm God or human. I just do whatever I feel like. And if you and if you get that, then let's get on with it already, big man. Round one. Foul demigod. My cleansing my cleansing he shall tear you to ash. Sorry, I can't hear you, big man. Begin. They're probably gonna cut it. Yep. The unruly versus the unstoppable. Okay. This this has some promise. This has some potential. Has a good amount of potential. Like I would not mind keeping up with this. As I said, I'm probably I mean I'll probably maybe continuously push out live reactions because it's easier for me. But you know, for the sake of not hearing me say stupid shit and stutter sometimes, I'll properly combine all the chapters into one round like after that round is finished and then you know i'll give a more scripted proper reaction or take on everything so i think that's what i'll do but yeah it definitely has potential um if i were to put my money on it i would say i think this demigod has it i like rob but i think this demigod has it because you know i think it's like as you said like zeus he's the embodiment doing whatever he wants and this this demigod is following that ra is too bogged down by rules and all this and that acting prideful so i don't know that's just how i'm interpreting this fight is meant to show but who knows who knows but money's on the demigod guy but so far i like both of them so this is gonna be exciting round one i'm excited to see everyone else but with this out of the way i'll catch y'all later let me know in the comments what you guys think of this spinoff and how you feel about it in in general like high expectations low expectations or if you have any interesting comments about it like i want to know i'm pretty sure this is not canon and this is not made by the ragnarok authors but i could be wrong so let me know some more info about that in the comments down below but anyway Catch y'all later. Stay safe out there. Peace.